Hello everyone, back for my second part of my jet fire review. The transformation. It's pretty easy once you get used to it, but it has a whole lot of folding, unfolding, snapping off, and pushing up, and whatnot. So, without further ado, let's get on to it. First, what we're going to do is take the gun, pop it off. Then open up his hands. Because he's actually holding his cane. Take it. Pop it out of there. Straighten that out. From the cane. This will be his gun. And it fires a missile, so. It does fire. I don't want to fire it because I don't want to lose it. I think it looks better just as, as a machine gun without a big missile in it, but. Whatever, I'll keep it in there for the heck of it. Then you take this. Dang it. Try to get that on camera. But it didn't work. You take this. Push it forward. Towards like that. And you take the arms. Pop them, them, pop them apart. Spread them out like that. And then you can see his head. Right in there. Now let's take the legs, take them, pop them off the butt. Wait, I have this thing wrapped around. This will wrap, wrap around prime. So you take it, unpop it, then you take everything and take the feet, fold them down like that, fold them down like that. I'm just gonna keep that right there for now until I actually get it. So let's take. Take the whole leg, fold it down, take the whole leg, fold it down, and we've got it like this. I'll take the feet, let's do it on this side first, fold them out, and then take the things on the front, flip it back, and that'll be his heel. And take the other foot and do the same. Oh, wait, first let's take the landing gears and fold them up to where they're behind him, like that. And now we take this part, take it, Ooh. I have my TV on, I just have it really down low for the volume, and I'm watching it kind of, so that you have it like that. Then you take the back, I mean this front, this top part, take everything, you pop it off, like that, we have it like that, then you take this part, first let's get into this, these, when you're transforming these, you just like to pop off, so, let me show you, take them, pop them apart, see, it already popped off, it takes little force to pop these things off. Take them and just put them on the thrusters for right now. I'll take everything and take the whole top and fold it forward. Wait, hold on. Let's do this first. Take the arms, take the shoulders, and fold them down. And we'll get into these things right here after we do this part. Take this, fold it up, and then just fold. Okay, okay. Take the thrusters. Take them, pop them out. See, I told you it had a lot of popping out and pushing up. Pop them out. Push them out. Turn them up. Turn them up. Then you take his lower torso. Well, his back, which... This part will become his back part right here. So we take it and fold it up, and once you do that, once you push it in, dang it, it got to have a specific spot for it to work, for it to go to where it's supposed to be. So let's do this. See, there we go. Got it. Now, we're going to take whole 
back panel right here. Take it, pull it out, and fold it down. Then you take. Sorry, my computer blacked out on me. Because I hadn't touched the mouse in a while. Then you take the thrusters and just pull them up. Like that. Then you take these. These and you just push them up at an angle. Then you take the little things that say jet fire on them and you just push them up like that. Push them back down a bit to give them this hulking look. And you take his whiskers and you fold them out. Okay, now for the final pieces of the puzzle. Take oh, come near you. Take let's go by the back and do this. Take the cockpit right here. The half of the cockpit. Take it and pull it out. Pull it down. Gotta pull it all the way down. Snap it into the arm. Take it, twist it around. Twist the hand around to where it looks natural. And there's one arm. Same over here. Sorry about that. Just have a cold. But here's Jetfire in his robot mode. Let's push this down and put him right here. So as you can see, it is a whole lot smaller than his jet mode, but it's overall pretty good. Now for his accessories, he does come with pimp cane. Take it, put it in his hand. Close his hand up. He has a cane. Goodness, hold the cane, man. Hold the cane. Fell out of his arm. Take this. This little gray piece right here. Which is on the gun. Take it and peg it onto that metal piece on his arm. So let's try to put this cane back in his hand again. And there we have Jetfire in his robot mode with his accessories. Overall, great robot mode. I give it 11 out of 10. You know what? Forget that 100 out of 10. Even though it's not completely movie accurate, I just love this design. Some people are talking crap about me because I think it's not movie accurate enough. It is not movie accurate. It's not, but they still gave this cool design. They did put a lot of engineering into this figure. Now let's take off his weapons so that I, so that they're not falling off all over the place, and I'll show you one of his features. Take this little yellow thing, pull it down. Jetfire's my name. He's Scottish, and he's old. He doesn't sound as old as he does in the movie, but whatever. So I was able to fit the robot section and the transformation into one video. But yes, I love this figure a lot. Jetfire's always been my favorite character, and I like what they did to him. It gave him a history. So, this is Dylan. Um, sorry about that, that bright light. This is Dylan. Signing off saying, subscribe to my channel if you want to. Um, look for part three, combining Jetfire and Optimus. And have a good day.